College Week 1 football is here, and there are three head-to-head top 25 matchups this weekend covering both Saturday and Sunday games. I'm going to give you my 10,000-game simulation, my projected winner and margin for all three of those games, and also give you some free plays and let you now make some money in the three biggest college football games in my top 25 report here coming up with complete analysis. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And look, it's week one, a lot of non-conference matchups, but we have three top 25 head-to-head matchups still for Saturday and Sunday, all three on ABC National TV, high-profile games. Let's start with the first one at 12 noon Eastern on Saturday, an early kickoff, perhaps the best game of the entire week, and that's Clemson and Georgia in Atlanta. Mercedes-Benz Stadium, technically a neutral site, uh, Georgia might have a little bit of a fan base here, but we know Clemson's going to travel well also. And this is a rematch from exactly three years ago, opening week of the weekend of the 2021 season, in which Clemson actually came in as a two-and-a-half to three-point favorite, even though Georgia spanked them. Well, they didn't spank them. It was a 10-3 win, but they just completely shut them down with that strong defense. Georgia held Clemson to just 180 yards on those three total points, despite being a three-point dog. That was pretty much the end of the Clemson era. You know, Clemson won the national title last in 2018, and then they had back-to-back bowl losses in 19 and 20, and then got off to that bad loss in the 21 season as a favorite. Meanwhile, it was really the catalyst for the Georgia Bulldog powerhouse that we've seen the last three years. Georgia won back-to-back national championships starting that season in 21 and 22. They missed out last year despite being the best team in college football, in my opinion, because they lost that conference championship game to Alabama as a favorite and got left out of the four-team playoff. That would not be the case this year at the 12-team playoff. Georgia very well might have gone on to win their third straight national championship. So they have a chip on their shoulder in this game. But they're now a 13.5-point favorite. Is the number too big? Well, I run 10,000 game simulations through my database each week. Takes several days to do so. Crunches all the numbers, all the different variables and possible outcomes. And on average, my simulation has Georgia winning by over 17 points in this matchup. So the line actually is not high enough. And it's below that key number of 14. So at 13 and a half or less, which is the current line of the Wager Talk Live odd screen, there is still value with Georgia here, as once again, my projection is a 17 point win. Did a solo video earlier this week on this game in which I talked about the over under total. Be sure to go back and check that out as well. And I mentioned the under 48 and a half might have some value because Georgia historically has just been a stout defense year in and year out, especially in these openers. You know, I talked about how they held Clemson to just three points on 180 yards three years ago. Well, keep in mind, the year after that, their second national championship season two years ago, they held the Oregon Ducks to just three points in the season opener. Um, So Georgia, once again, is really strong defensively out of the gate, and with both teams having a full month to prepare, neither team playing yet, Defenses are also usually a little bit ahead of the offenses, so I would lean under one uh, under 48 and a half, and also there is line value at 13 and a half with Georgia's. I project a 17 point win, which which looks like the best team in college football. All right, let's look at the other game on Saturday, the other top 25 matchup, and this is at 7:30 Eastern Saturday night on ABC National TV once again, and that is Notre Dame and Texas A&M. This is a true road game for Notre Dame at Texas A&M. Aggies opened as low as a one-point favorite. It has been bet up to minus three, and it's crossed right over my simulation number. 10,000-game simulation has Texas A&M winning by two points on average. So I do have A&M winning this game, uh, but not by more than two. So the plus three is tempting now with Notre Dame, and it's such a key number. It's only one point in line value, but football is unlike basketball. Every point's not the same. And there's about a 9 to 10% chance that AM as a favorite will win this game by exactly three points. So the difference from plus two in my simulation to plus three with Notre Dame does translate to some line value here with the Irish. I think there's also a couple things in their favor. First of all, uh, Mike Freeman, their, Marcus Freeman, rather, their head coach, is his third season. A lot of times the third year is the breakout year. And he's done pretty well going 19 and 7 the last two seasons, including a solid. 10-3 and three season last year, and of course, um, this is a Notre Dame team that year in and year out has a lot of talent. Now, they did lose some key players on both sides of the ball, a little bit of inexperience. In fact, Texas A&M rates is the most, more experienced unit on both offense and defense, but it's the first year for new head coach Mike Elko, and with no games under his belt, uh, that could be a disadvantage. So I think overall A&M is the better team. They're going to probably have the better season, 
But here in week one, now that this line's climbed a bit, it looks like there might be a little bit of line value with Notre Dame, at least based on my database simulation. The over-under has opened 49. It's been bet down to 46. That also probably helps the underdog a bit. If it's a lower-scoring game, makes it a little bit easier to stay within the line. And uh, once again, the sharp money is definitely on the under in this game early on, knocking the number from 49 uh, down to 46. And uh, we'll see how this one plays out once again at 7.30 Eastern on ABC. Hey, those are your two Saturday games, one daytime, one nighttime, both on ABC. Well, we keep it going with ABC Sunday night football. I'm going to have that for you in a moment between LSU and USC. Just a quick reminder, do me a few favors. If you're liking these free videos, if you're liking my weekly college football top 25, and I will be doing this every week, uh, projecting to get it up on Thursday night into Friday for you so you have extra time to use the information, then give it a thumbs up, a like. It's free. It's plentiful. Thumbs ups keep all this useful information coming to you daily here on Wager Talk TV. And make sure you click subscribe as well. I know most of you already have over 160,000 subscribers. But also make sure you click the bell. When you hit the bell, you get instant alerts when this video goes up each and every week. And you also know earlier in the week when I do my solo videos, I mentioned that I did the Georgia-Clemson game earlier this week and talked about the total. We don't want to miss those free play videos for baseball also. Baseball has been incredible. Entering the weekend almost an 80% baseball run the last couple weeks, over 65%. The past month ranked number one at in MLB Profits at wagertalk.com. I know we're talking football. We're all excited about the football season, but don't sleep on baseball. we got two more months to go still through the World Series. So why not get an all-sports all-access so you never miss a play or a sport on any given day? In fact, right now we have a two-week special where we're throwing a third week in for free at wagertalk.com. It's a 21-day all-sport, all-inclusive special that gets not only college football this week, NFL next week with the start, Major League Baseball every day, the next 21 days and nights of college and pro football and baseball for less than $10 a day. It works out to less than $5 a play for my strong best bets in all sports every day. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And while you're there, check out my daily free plays. I post a free play every day as well on the site. No promo code needed. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And you can get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. All right, let's look at your Sunday night game. Standalone September 1st game, Sunday night, 7.30 Eastern on ABC. LSU-USC, another neutral site game in Las Vegas, Nevada at Allegiant Stadium, home of the Las Vegas Raiders. And this, along with that Clemson-Georgia game and maybe the Notre Dame a and game, this should be one of the best games of the week. And right now, LSU is about a four-and-a-half point favorite on the neutral field. Total has been bet up from 62.5 to 64.5. By the way, LSU opened as high as a six-point favorite in some spots earlier this year. It's now down to 4.5. And, and my database 10,000-game simulation has LSU winning by exactly 4.5 points. So I think this line is pretty much where it should be um, as far as the side goes. So let's focus on the total. How about I tell you an angle that went 22-4 and four last season? Well, that was playing the over for all USC and LSU games. If you had just played the over in every game for these two teams last season, you went 22-4, and four, and it was not a fluke. These are two explosive offenses and two very shaky defenses, and I think that'll be the case once again in this game. Now, on the surface, week ones, you know, sometimes the defense is ahead of the offense, and we've got two quarterbacks that have never started a regular season game before. You'd say over 64.5 sounds risky, but keep in mind, it's also very misleading, the quarterback's information, because... Newsmeyer ended up starting the bowl game because Jaden Daniels, a Heisman Trophy winner, sat out last year. He got MVP of the game and had almost 400 yards passing. And, of course, two years ago, Caleb Williams won the Heisman for USC. Last year, he sat out the bowl game as well on his way to being the number one overall pick, which means Miller Moss had got his first career start, and he had six touchdown passes. Lincoln Riley, head coach for USC, has a history of getting some quarterbacks to play. Uh, just to name a few, uh, Baker Mayfield, Jalen Hurts, Miller Moss now, Caleb Williams. Um, so I look for both quarterbacks to be two of the best in the nation. Yes, they've never started a regular season game, but they were both monsters in their bowl debuts last year. And I think that continues against two suspect secondaries and defenses overall. USC games averaged 76 points on average last year and route to the 10-3 and over record. LSU 74 points on average, 12-1 and over. And once again, I think LSU has improved maybe defensively, but they're still very thin at the defensive tackle position. Also, their secondary remains suspect. I look for both quarterbacks to have big, big debuts indoors on the fast track in Las Vegas. And if you're going to play this game, I think the over 64 and a half makes sense as they were two teams, once again, 22 and four over combined last season. Hey, let me know if you're finding this information useful. Comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back here on Wager Talk TV. What other games are you looking at? Look, this is a top 25 video. 
The criteria is very simple. I talk about top 25 matchups. I'll do it every week here on this channel. So make sure you click subscribe and hit the bell for instant alerts when it goes up each and every Thursday night into Friday. But once again, there's a lot of under-the-radar games. What other games are you looking at this week in college football? Comment below. Hey, include some analysis if you have time. Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. If you're finding the free information useful, give it a quick thumbs up, like. And don't forget, once again, my personal best bets, my strongest college football plays this weekend are available for my personal clients at wagertalk.com. I also post a daily bonus free play in either football or baseball for you on the website. And speaking of baseball, don't sleep on baseball. I know we're talking football, but baseball on an 80% run as I record this video over the past two weeks and ranked number one over the past 30 days in units one in baseball alone. Now we're adding football to the mix. Woo! Big money to be made. Why not get a three-week package? It's a two-week package. You get the third week for free. 21 days and nights of football and baseball. Every sport, every day, every best bet I release for less than $10 a day, less than $5 a play. No promo code needed. Go get it right now on my page along with those daily free plays. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X on Twitter at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L at Steve Merrill on X on Twitter and also on Instagram. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.